Some of you may not have had the opportunity to come and take a tour of the brand new site behind me, which is the very first tiny home community in Los Angeles. So I'm going to give you a virtual tour. All right. Actually, if you look over to my right over here, here is North Hollywood Park. And right across from North Hollywood Park is the very first tiny home community. Come on inside. Let me show you what it's all about. So once a client comes inside, we do have security guards and they will make sure that there's no contraband coming inside. There's no drugs, there's no alcohol, there's no weapons. And once they come inside, this trailer right here is used for case management, for housing navigation, and other essential services to help people get back on their feet. So once the clients come in, this trailer over here is actually used for hygiene. Over here, there are five showers, there are five toilets and five sinks that will service everybody here. But as we make this sweeping turn here, these are the tiny homes. And as you can see, each of them are 64 square feet and every one of them has heating, they have air conditioning, they have four windows, they have a front door that locks and shelving. And so this is an incredible community where people will live together, but they all have something in common. They're trying to exit homelessness. They're trying to overcome the obstacles and barriers that are keeping them unhoused. And so once they're here, they have their place of living. And then also you can see here, it really is a community. People can park, this is where they'll get they're, they'll eat three meals a day. We will provide those three meals. And then also when we come this way, you'll see that we have a laundry facility on site. Where here there will be five washers and five dryers where those who live here will have access to uh, laundry facilities and then the case management. And then as we walk down this way, you can see the, the vibrant colors. It really is, is a lot of life and energy that's here. And let me show you what one of these units looks like when it's all made up. When you come in here, you can see that there's two beds. There's a lot of storage underneath both sides of the beds. There's a heater that's down low. You have the air conditioning up high. You do have lights inside. You have lights on the outside. And the beautiful thing, again, is that at nighttime, they can close the door and they can lock it and it's safe, it's secure. It's a place where they can start over again. And so once we, as we walk our way down this way, you can see there's just multiple units. Also for individuals that may need special care, we have ADA units right here where they can come and they can bring their wheelchairs in and they can get the help that they need. The beautiful thing is, as I mentioned, it really is a community of people where everybody is working together to help themselves and to exit their, their, their state of homelessness. And then over here, you can see, uh, we'll sneak, we have a dog run. So, but as we keep coming this way, uh, you can see that there are a total of 40 units, 75 beds. This piece of land was just an empty dirt lot that has now been renovated. It has been uh, transformed into a community. For many people, having a pet could be a barrier to them getting help. They would rather stay living in an encampment or on the streets with their animal than giving that animal up. And so they can come here and they can, uh, uh, the animals have a place to run, to relieve themselves. And so at Hope of the Valley, we are so excited to get this place open. And we could not have done this without your support. And so thank you for believing in the work that we do. Thank you for investing into lives that are being transformed. And if you'd like to be a part, not only of this community, which is 40 units, we're getting ready to open up another 100 units right up the street at Alexandria Park, then go to hopeofthevalley.org forward slash tiny homes and help us make homeless history.